Hi, I would like to make some very short videos about verses that we all like to take out of context. Not with malicious intent, but we just do. At the end of this video, I'm going to share one verse that if taken out of context will disprove the entire Bible. So stick out to the end, which since it is a very short video, it's probably going to be very, very soon the end. But the rapture might happen beforehand. So watch the video. One of the verses taken out of context the most is probably Psalm 118 verse 24. As a matter of fact, I have to confess that we sang this verse out of context in our groups. It says, this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It goes, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna torture you with singing the song more. If I did, you would not STLB or smash the like button. Now the question is, what day are we talking about? Many of you sing this song will say something like, any day. I don't blame them. I used to think the same thing. But look at the two verses before. The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. When did that happen? Jesus quoted this in Matthew 21, verse 42. He quoted that the day after the triumphal entry of Palm Sunday. If you want to watch a video, watch this video over here. It talks all about that day. That was a few days before his crucifixion. This puts it all into perspective, doesn't it? It is the day that Christ died for us on the cross. That is the day that we need to rejoice in and be glad in it. I will grant you that if you are glad in the day that Christ died on the cross, you can rejoice in any other day too. Remember that's actually covered by Philippians 4 verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. So we've actually rewritten the song and included verse 22 and 23 with it before so that people would know that's what we are singing about. Now you're probably still wondering, what verse out of context would disprove the entire Bible? It's Psalm 14 verse 1. In the Psalm it says, there is no God. <laughs> Whoa, what's that about? Well, right before that it says, the fool says in his heart. So read the scripture in context and don't forget to STLB or smash the like button. How would you like for this channel to explode? Thank you so much. Watch these next few videos. God bless you. Bye-bye. Yeah.